Shoalhaven City Council is undertaking a coastal management program, also known as the CMP, for the Sussex Inlet, St George's Basin, Swan Lake and Barara Creek. The CMP is a long-term strategy for managing the coastal regions in the face of future climate risks and will provide the framework and strategy that will be used to manage our coastlines and estuaries. It considers historic events, current conditions and future trends including population growth, environmental conditions and climate change. CMPs identify coastal management issues and the actions required to address these issues in a strategic and integrated way. It will also detail how and when those actions will be implemented, the costs and funding mechanisms. Engagement and input from community and stakeholders is an essential part of the development of a CMP. The CMP project is supported with funds from the New South Wales Government's Coastal and Estuary Grant Program. The CMP will be developed over five stages. Stage one of the CMP, the scoping study for all the estuaries and open coasts of the Shoalhaven, has already been completed. As part of the scoping study, information gaps were identified, environmental risks and opportunities affecting the estuaries were canvassed, and valuable background information was received from the community to help understand where the key issues and risks are. Stage 2 is now commencing. The purpose of this stage is to understand the issues that affect the environmental, social, cultural and economic values of St George's Basin, Sussex Inlet, Barara Creek and Swan Lake. The scoping study identified a few information gaps and recommended additional studies for Sussex Inlet, St George's Basin, Swan Lake and Barara Creek. These studies include boating studies to look at navigational issues, capacity for vessels, conflicts between water users, whether there is a need to improve existing facilities and any environmental issues associated with boating. Tidal and coastal inundation modelling of current, future and predicted sea level rise scenarios to understand the key risks from inundation to infrastructure and the coastal environment. Foreshore erosion studies to understand which areas are prone to bank erosion and its causes an understanding of existing water quality within these estuaries and an assessment of whether existing monitoring and reporting programs are adequate for the community's future needs. Identifying opportunities for treating urban runoff to improve the quality of water entering the estuaries. Cultural heritage, consultation with the local Aboriginal community surrounding important cultural and environmental issues. To gain a more detailed understanding of the issues, threats and opportunities, a series of community and stakeholder engagement activities will be undertaken during this stage between November 2021 and March 2022. Stage 3 will identify and evaluate potential management options to address the risks and vulnerabilities. Stage 4 involves the preparation, public exhibition, adoption and certification of the final CMP by the end of 2023. And stage five involves the implementation of the management actions I outlined in the final certified CMP and will commence in 2024. Engagement with the community and stakeholders will be essential at all stages and is key to ensuring successful and inclusive outcomes for the CMP. We encourage you to visit and subscribe to Shoalhaven City Council's Get Involved page to receive updates and announcements of upcoming engagement activities where you can voice your concerns, opinions and ideas for coastal management of the area. Alternatively, you can contact Shoalhaven City Council's Coastal Coordinator, Nigel Smith, on 024429 5501 or via email.